Hey, it's Christina from 104.1 KRBE. Here we are at the 21 Pilot Show at Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion. We're about to go backstage and meet Tyler and Josh. Thanks for all the questions that you sent via Twitter. Let's go see which ones we picked. All right, we're here finally backstage with 21 Pilots, Tyler, Josh, and we've asked your fans questions. These came directly from Twitter. We asked them what they would want to know if they got a chance to interview you. From at Brian G. Gonzalez, it says, what's the meaning behind your tattoos? I have three, I guess technically there's this one, this one, this one, and two of the three um, have been on stage with this guy. Josh um, wrote his own name on my leg and I wrote my own name on his leg. Okay. So um, his was a little more light handed and he didn't hurt me as much and I, I don't know, I was just so focused on trying to make it as straight as possible or like I didn't want to mess up that I like went over it a few times. <laughs> Next question is from at Angie T-O-P-L-P. It says, tell us about the upcoming album. Tyler, I know you said you felt a greater sense of freedom with this one. There is no upcoming album right now. I don't have it done yet. I don't even know where that record or that uh, interview, people were talking about what future music would be like for us. And I was talking about the ideas where our music could go. And then all of a sudden that article turned into like, there's a record out there that, that is finished. And you know, like, what can we expect? And uh, it's, it's still very much in the making. So uh, it's not really something we can elaborate on right now. They tricked me. Yeah, no, it, it's trick. Twitter's tricky. <laughs> okay, next question is from at Raylan SX. How much of your song Heathens was inspired by your own experiences and how much of it came directly from the movie Suicide Squad? I think most of it was, well, the, the video is a very accurate portrayal of kind of how we met. Um, and that, that's actually the movie Suicide Squad was made after um, uh, true events of us meeting in a prison and, and uh, uh, playing music together in prison. So they, uh, at the end, um, you know how like uh, in movies you'll see like based on a true story or this is dedicated to this. It's yeah, it's more or less a documentary, and at the end it's cool because our song plays, and then they're like uh, based on true events. This movie is dedicated to Josh and Tyler, and that you can say is the true story of how you met. Will you tell me that right now on record? Yeah, no, absolutely, hundred percent true. All right, we'll go with that one. <laughs> Next question is from at Dana Omari. She wants to know. What was the moment you realized that you were famous? Right now. Boom. Anything on that? Uh, you're standing here asking us questions, and that's something that like famous people do. So, yeah, I would say right now as well. Because before this, um, he was playing a video game, and I was uh, checking social media. And that didn't seem that famous of a thing to do. So here we are now. Well, Tyler and Josh, I got news for you. You guys are famous. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. Nice. Our next question is from at Auntie Maya. She wants you to talk about a fan interaction that really stuck with you or had you thinking. I think every anytime we uh, we see our friend David the Dad, uh, I, I'm always thinking about that later that day and <laughs> in later weeks and later months. Uh, he's one of our favorite guys. Um, so shout out to David the Dad. David the dad. You got anything, Tyler? Oh, DTD all the way, 100% all the time. DTD. All right, last question is from at Angel Scent. She says, what's your favorite part of your live shows like this one here at Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion? Um, it's always changing. There's always certain parts of the set that I look forward to. Um, the other day, uh, I was walking up on stage, but it was dark, and no one know knew that I was walking up on stage. So for a moment, no one's eyes were were on me and yet I was looking at all of them. It was a very like surreal moment where I got to soak in what actually was going on instead of thinking about what part of the song comes next. And so um, for me, uh, there's actually moments in between songs that become my favorite moments, so. Very cool, okay. What do you think about that one? Uh, there's a part in the set that Tyler, uh, not to give anything away, he does a magic trick and every time I'm like, how the heck did he do that? And you still I, haven't figured it out. No, and I like get distracted through the rest of the sex. I'm like trying to figure it out. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know how he, how he stinking did that, that guy. But you make no mistakes. Uh, no, never. He doesn't distract you enough to get you off your game. 
No, it, it's kind of like it, it's kind of like a motivation for me to, to do better and play better. But yeah, that's that's probably my favorite part. Look at that! And now Tyler and Josh are gonna tattoo their names on me, that's right? right. Yeah. We agreed on that, right? <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys have a wonderful show tonight. We appreciate it. It's 21 Pilots here on the Emotional Roadshow.